hello guys this is olushala david and you're welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can order a peonia virtual card that you can use to start making international transaction you can use this card to start making payment online irrespective of your country okay so irrespective of the currency you want to use to make payment online you could create a virtual card for yourself in those currencies so you could either have a virtual card in usd you could have it in pounds you can have it in canadian dollar you could have it in euro so irrespective of the currency you have you can easily create your own unique peonia virtual card and start using them to make payments online all right so if this is something you want for yourself i want you to stick around watch this video to the end and if this is your first time visiting the channel please don't forget to like the video if you have any question about the video please drop them in the comment section then most especially subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get more videos like this all right so without any further ado let's get started all right so like i said i said i'm going to show you how you can create or order your own unique peonia virtual card all right so the first thing you want to do now is to create a peonia account if you don't have an account already so i did a video earlier on how to set up a peonia account i'm going to add a link to the video somewhere around here i also wrote an article on how to set it up i'm also going to add a link to the article at the description of the video so you can just check it out and set up your peonia account if you don't have one already all right so once you have your peonia account up and ready the next thing you want to do now is to log into your peonia account all right so i'm going to log into my own account and show you how to go about it all right so as you can see i'm inside my dashboard now and this is what you're also going to see once you create your own peonia account then log into your account so now what you want to do here is um, to choose the currency you want to create a virtual card in okay so you can either do this in two ways you can actually come over here then click on other card here so under the currency you want to create okay so as you can see now this is euro you can actually create and um, click on other card under euro or come to um uh, pounds then click on other cards under pounds or comes or come to usd then click on um, other card under it or come over here to the left hand side of your dashboard then click on banks and cards all right so the card i want to create is going to be a usd card okay so what i want to do now is i'm going to come to usd here then i'm going to click on other card all right so as you can see now it's redirected me to the next page and what you're going to choose here is to choose the virtual card okay so if you want to get a physical card that you can actually use offline all you simply need to do is click on physical card okay but the virtual card is something you can set up immediately and gain access to immediately now if you choose a physical card it's going to take days and months to get it shipped directly to your country depending on where you want the card to be shipped down to all right so i'm going to click on virtual card then click on next okay so after clicking on next it's going to bring out the currency that you can create the virtual card in so currently i think i can create um, a virtual card in usd euro and pound sterling okay so the next thing you want to do now is to select the currency so i'm going to select usd okay then i'm going to come down here then i'm going to click on order card all right so after clicking on order card it's going to bring out um this as you can see right here it says um order card so check your inbox for a confirmation email then after that it says um review of order we are reviewing your cards and we are reviewing your order it usually take up to three days when done we'll send you an email with a link to your virtual card details so after that it says um activate card so once you receive a virtual card details activate the card to start using this so the next thing i want to do now is to head over to my email address and check for the confirmation email they sent to my email address all right so looking at my email now the two emails i have from them is um the the for um, is this two email we can see right here so the first one is your request for peonia card is under review and the second one is um we need additional information to proceed all right so let me open the first one so we can actually see so the first one says um dear Shala david we are reviewing your application for a peonia card it takes up to three days i think this is the first um this is what we already seen in the first page okay so the second one here says um thank you for ordering a peonia card to continue the process your order to continue processing your order we need some additional information from you please submit the required information via the verification center all right so what i want to do now is just click on this orange button then go to the verification center and see what they are asking us to submit all right so you have information to submit in the verification center okay so i'm going to click on submit now so it's going to bring out the page 
all right so i'm going to click submit again all right so it says um we need additional information to continue processing your application once we verify your address we will also update it in your profile all right so um as you can see here we have um like five we have like um four options so i think um i can either submit a utility bill a bank document or a rental agreement all right so what i'm going to choose is i'm going to choose this bank document because i think i have a statement of account recently that i can actually use for that all right so i'm going to click on plus here then i'm going to search for heat here so i'm going to click on open here okay so after that i'm going to hit the submit button all right so as you can see it says um we review your info then we'll let you know as soon as your card is approved all right so the next thing i have to do now is to wait for the card approval and once i get the third email then i can start using the virtual card all right guys so i've gotten an email from peonia so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to log into my email then see what inside and show you how you can also activate the card all right so i'm going to go over to my email so as you can see it says um your virtual peonia card has been approved all right so i'm going to click on this then it says um congratulations your virtual peonia card has been approved you can use your card to make purchase blah 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 so here it says um note before you can start using your virtual card you must activate it you must activate it first retrieve your card and um, 16 digits number and cvv by selecting the card then clicking retrieve card details once you have the card once you have the card number click activate and click activate to activate the card all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our peonia account then i'm going to come over to the card here yeah so okay i can i can actually click activate here but let's go to card uh, box and card then go to peonia card here all right so this is the card so i'm going to click on the card then i'm going to click on retrieve card details what i'm going to do now is i'm going to enter the password to my peonia account then um, choose one choose the security answer the security question here then click submit so the next thing i want to do now is go back to my email then check if any otp is sent to my email address all right so as you can see i think i have the email here so i'm just going to click on this so you submitted a request to retrieve your virtual card details to view the card details please click the one time link below all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the virtual card details here all right so as you can see now so i have the virtual card details so this is the this is the number and i have the date and i have the security code which is the cvv so in your own case what you want to do is you want to take a screenshot of this or print this so you can have it secured somewhere that you can easily access it when you need it all right so the next thing um we're going to do now is we're going to have to go back then activate the card all right so i'm going to click on peonia card again here so after that i'm going to click on activate all right so to activate the card what i have to do is um enter the 16 digit card number all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to enter the 16 digit card number so i can actually activate it after that so what you want to do is you want to check all this box so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on activate so as you can see card activated successfully so check your email or account inbox for a confirmation message all right all right so the card is activated and i can now use the card to make any purchase online or use it for any international transaction all right so let me simply go back to my dashboard all right so as you can see available on card so i have my virtual card ready to use all right so this is basically how you can order for a peonia virtual card then have it activated and make it ready to use all right so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to the youtube channel please subscribe so you can get more videos like this all right so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one